in the first half of the class we just talked about in this section with triangles and just finding out sine, cosine, tangent of these guys. That's fine. Most problems, definitely most problems in trig and every problem in calculus, they're not going to have a triangle there. They're not going to care if you can divide two sides of a triangle and get the sine or the cosine. Um, what we're going to learn how to do though is figure out what the sine, cosine, tangent, etc. Of an, of an angle is without using a triangle, without using a calculator. And you'll see that some of the angles are very easy to figure out or to memorize. And then once you know a few of them, you can use that information to find a whole lot more. And, and this can be a little bit tricky. So I want you to watch this as many times as it takes to get the hang of this particular part of the course because this is very important. So let's move on and do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little chart up here in the upper right-hand corner of the board here. I'm going to leave that chart in place and we're going to use that chart probably for the rest of the lesson here. What we want to do is do the following. Okay. What you'll have, and I know you won't quite understand exactly why I'm doing this right now, but we'll have tangent, we'll have cosine, we'll have sine, we'll have theta in degrees, and we'll have theta in radians. Okay? And then what we will have is, and again, I'm going to explain why I'm doing this, you in a second. These are the important angles for you to remember. Pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. Um, you know, the unit circle, as we talked about, has infinite angles, okay? But there are some important ones that you really need to try to memorize. And these are they, okay? You have pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. We'll go back and we'll talk about it in a second, but to kind of jog your memory, hopefully, from the previous section of the class. Pi over 6 is exactly equal to 30 degrees in, in regular degrees. Pi over 4 is equal to 45 degrees. And pi over 3 is equal to 60 degrees. Okay. Um, in order to help, help fill out this table as we move along, what I want to do is draw something right next to this over here. So. We'll mark this off like this, okay? And then what we're going to draw up here is a unit circle, like this, okay? This is a unit circle, and what I mean by unit circle you'll find out here in just a second. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, okay? Now what I'm going to do is here, this is positive 1, here this is positive 1, this is negative 1, and this is negative 1, okay? What I'm going to do is draw a circle that goes through all of these points. And my circle looks a little bit more like an ellipse, but it's supposed to be a circle. And the reason uh, this is called a unit circle is because the radius is equal to 1, because I'm intersecting 1 everywhere I go. There, okay? All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a generic triangle in here, like this. And the triangle is going to go up and touch the unit circle here. And then it's going to come down and cross the x-axis. Okay. Now just like we've been doing for all of our triangles, this angle is going to be theta that's going to be in there. Okay. So this is just kind of going back to the previous problem. We have a 